50 years of history in this yeah. place. Only if these walls could talk. Right? I know, it's true. I mean, it's actually fascinating walking through. In general, it starts with uh, bringing fiber in from wherever in the world we need to bring it in, whether it's wool from Australia or camel hair from Mongolia. We're weighing the fiber to make the string the right size. We're separating all the fiber into separate strings so we can run them individually in the spinning room. We eventually make yarn with that fiber, and we take it over and we weave it into fabric, and then we bring it to this building and we finish it and give it whatever kind of uh, finish it needs. Maybe we make it into a flannel or we make it into a woolen coat or a nice suiting fabric. Um, so it's a multi-step process. We're bringing in raw bales of fiber from different places in the world, and at the end of the day, it's turning into something really beautiful that's tactile and, and they a lot of pride. Manufacturing in this country is almost gone and there's all very little. And that's what we are fighting, you know, we need to keep this company alive. I think we're in a moment in our country's history where we realize that people need to work and they need good jobs and we have to be creative about the way we create them.